Welcome back everybody. Um, today's video is on removing the air box and um, air intake snorkels, um, pre-filter, pre-carb, um, off an Escort EXB LN7 or Lynx. Um, so this one is a high output version, you can tell because it's got the second snorkel coming off to the right. Most of them only have this S chicane here and then just the box itself. So, for mo most of you, uh, the air box removal is pretty sim simple. R you remove a wing nut or some sort of nut, it's most likely been replaced on that air box lid. Remove that nut and then you can either disconnect the box here, you can disconnect it here, you can disconnect it there, or just undo the two bolts or screws, whatever it's securing this into, um, this first plenum. And then you must remove all the vacuum lines all around the air box. Um, it varies air box to air box, but they usually have about six, six-ish. Um, you know, but yours could have anywhere between four and eight. And then there should be a chrome foil on most of them that connect the, the exhaust manifold here up to the tem uh, temperature valve on the main intake tube. Uh, but this one being a high output version, it does not have that. Um, if you have the normal one, then the whole exhaust manifold is just cast iron, and then it will have that aluminum uh, foil-like pipe that runs up to the bottom of this here. So then this restricts airflow until your engine gets warm. Um, so anyways, once you undo the nut, do that tin foil, and then disconnect this um, some, somewhere in here. Gotta disconnect it. Disconnect all of the vacuum lines, and then this guy can pull up. A lot of times there will be um, another uh, valve here. I can't remember what it does or what it's for, but this will be connected to something um, down inside your intake manifold area. I believe it is hooked up to this weird S-shaped hose with the yellow and green valve on it. Um, and again, that's something that's different on all EXPs and 1.6 engines. Um, so yeah, this guy's got one, two, three, four. I guess just the four um, vacuum ports, and then it will have this uh, PCV filter over here. So once you have the air box off, then we proceed. Um, if you need to, you can take the rest of this off. Um, this pretty much just spins onto the two ends, or it works best if you can do that. You can slide it over if you want, but you may rip the rubber between each of these metal ribs. So it's best if you can slide it on to this piece, screw it down, or sorry, it's best if your air box is on and then you take this this tube off, spin it onto the end here, the inlet end, and then once you have that screwed onto your inlet end, now you can take this elbow Spin it onto the pipe, and then you can screw your elbow down in at, at the end. Now for those of you with the higher output engine, you have this funnel here. Um, it doesn't really change much, it's just you need to disconnect it either on that end or this end um, before you can remove the box itself. And then once you remove this completely, like I did, I'd put it back on to demonstrate it, but it's really hard right now. Um, I need to melt it, not melt it, I need to warm it up and manipulate it back into the shape I need, because it is quite distorted. So once you pull that out, 
We're now down to just this uh, main intake loop. Um, this is another temper sensitive valve just like that one that won't open until um, there's warm air coming off the exhaust manifold. However, this doesn't connect to any manifold. It just connects via ho uh, via vacuum line to wherever that one goes. I'll have to show that in uh, another video or take a picture or something because I can't remember exactly where it went. Um, most of these were disconnected on my cars um, because those heat sensitive valves don't always work. So we just end up removing them. And then to get this guy off, all you need to do is remove one bolt here. And then if you can see it, it's right there, the other one. So the one sticks out of the car, you'll see it. But it's important that you do not forget the one on top there. It's easy to hit the one and overlook the other because the one just isn't sticking out. Um, and then with the main one, this is the first time I've ever seen two screws here. Usually they're, uh, they're body bolts um, like these and what you'd see on quarter panels if I if I had some at the moment. Um, but yeah, should, I believe, whatever bolts are run through this plastic elbow, I believe the radiator support has a has been tapped to match the bolts or screws that these guys run into. I have no idea if these two screws are factory or not. I mean, this is my only EXP that was made in San Jose. I have no idea, really. But anyhow, that's about it. Um, I'll have a video on fixing uh, the air inlet snorkels some other time, along with one testing these temperature sensitive valves and then keep an eye out for one on exhaust manifolds and intake manifolds and the whole rest of the works so stay warm everybody